Hey everyone, uh, Jamie Prickett here. I'm uh, just on my way down to an amazing event that we're doing at our Vaughan, Ontario office. Um, super excited about it and uh, gonna meet some great leaders down there and some up and coming leaders. And it just got me thinking about entrepreneurship. Um, you know, I've been an entrepreneur uh, since I was 21 years of age. I've actually uh, worked three years out of uh, high school. I graduated high school and I went right into a factory. Um, I was doing an apprenticeship as a machinist. And I knew after about a year um, that that wasn't what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Um, I wasn't happy there. Um, you know, I, I didn't like the environment so much. And, you know, there's a lot of great people that work there. Uh, but I just didn't like it for me. You know, it wasn't my thing. Uh, with two months left of my apprenticeship to complete the three-year program, I was doing it once a week. I was in class and then the rest of the time I was working. Um, at that point, I already had my first baby. Um, you know, I, uh, I, I already owned my home. I actually owned two homes already when I was 21 years old. And I decided that I wanted to be an entrepreneur, um, got introduced to the financial services industry. And one thing that you hear a lot of people now, I've been in this now for 18 years, and one of the biggest stresses that people have that I talk to is debt. Um, you know, and, and, and they just have you know, more month than money at the end of the month, if you know what I mean. And this debt is becoming such a burden for so many people in our society that they're just wondering, like, you know, I'm living paycheck to paycheck, and sometimes it's paycheck to almost paycheck, and the, the, the old phrase, uh, Robin Peter to pay Paul is actually taken from MasterCard to pay the visa and then back and forth, and some people play that game where you go back and forth. Well, the one thing I wanna tell you is I think one of the biggest keys to getting out of debt is obviously discipline and having a proper financial uh, program put together for yourself so that you can strategize how to get out of debt faster. Um, it's not just consolidation, you know. Um, a lot of people, they'll go and remortgage every two or three years or every five years when the renewal comes up. And, and then they find themselves in the same situation again. So here's my suggestion. I believe everyone has to add one letter to something that they receive on an annual basis. They have to add one letter to it. Now you're going, Jamie, what, what the heck are you talking about? Add a letter to what? What are you talking about? I'm glad you asked. Everyone that works a job right now gets a T4, okay? Everybody, at the end of the year, if you live in Canada, you have a job, as long as you're working legally, you get a T4. I'm telling you, what you need to do is you need to add the letter A to the end of that T4. A T4A is a self-employed um, individual, a business owner. And it doesn't mean that you have to leave your job where you get a T4 and you have benefits and, and other things and a couple weeks vacation. I'm not saying that you have to leave your job, but what I am saying is that for most people, the best way, the, the fastest way, the most fulfilling way to get out of that debt that you might be struggling with right now is to add an A to a T4, get yourself a T4A, get yourself a side hustle, get yourself a, a business on the side that you can buy into, that you're gonna have some new tax advantages, you're gonna earn some additional income. Um, we have a lot of our part-time agents, part-time, very casual part-time, making a thousand, two thousand, some three, four thousand dollars a month. Um, one of our part-time advisors last month made seventy thousand dollars. Now I know that might sound crazy, how could a part-time person make seventy thousand dollars in a month? Well, it depends on your clientele and the people that that you deal with in our industry, there's a lot of great income. And again, that's a very big example of what you could do here, but the sky is the limit. Um, you know, but even if it was an extra thousand or two thousand a month, ask yourself, what would that mean to me and my family if we were to have an additional thousand to two thousand dollars a month from a part-time business where you get to add an A to your T4? Uh, guys, I hope that helps you with just maybe thinking of some other alternatives you know, other than all the debt settlement, debt solution, consumer proposal, remortgage, refinance, all that other stuff, I believe that one of the best ways that you could pay off that debt is to add an A to your T4, start making some additional income, feel good about what you're doing, and go out there, make a difference for your family while making a difference for other families. So hope that helps any of you out there.